Hey guys, Ryan here. I want to make this quick video to show you how to run some utility workflows inside of GHL, which often get overlooked sometimes because unless you're using a really sophisticated snapshot, they may or may not have already been built in. And I think that it's really nice to have these, you know, kind of fundamental utilities of something that's functional but also looks aesthetically really pleasing for customers and so you know what do i mean by that it's like you know if you assign a task to somebody if you uh, have a notification about something you know you want this nice branded email to come to you to have the notification with the details about that notification and some sort of call to action to enable them to be kind of mobile receive a notification read the details and take some sort of action right now with restaurants and beauty salons and things like that it might be did this person check in you know did they turn up to the meeting and so on and so forth but I'm just going to focus on one real basic one which is working with lead management if I'm returning calls and putting people through a funnel then you know I'm going to be assigning myself tasks you know I'm going to call this person back in a week you know this type of stuff right so to make it proactive rather than reactive we want to get notifications running right so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to log into our um, GHL instance here. And what I'll do is I'll show you that I went to the marketing area, I went to the emails, and I made a template. Now, um, I don't know why this does this, by the way. Um, let's just do a refresh. Happy days, right? So here's a utility called task assignment. Now I'll go into the details of this in a little bit later, but essentially if I'm wanting any contact here and I've got, you know, John Smith over here and I assign a task. Now this is a currently assigned to our co-founder Ian. I'm gonna assign it to myself. Go over here, make a task. I'm gonna say call back task. Now, I know you can do various things with automations, right? But this is more of a, how do I enable more manual? And this would be really helpful in an office environment where there's multiple people, maybe you've got some temps coming in, maybe they've got office staff, multiple people, multiple assignments, and they're getting notifications about being assigned things, right? Or if you're the owner of a business, you want to assign things to somebody to do something with it, right? So call this guy back next week, talk to him about LinkedIn, automation whatever I'm gonna assign it to myself I'm gonna give it a due date happy days I'm gonna save great now done that flick on over to the inbox I've just got an email from marketing a new task was assigned to me great nicely branded email a new task has been assigned to me what's the title details and due date who is the contact associated with this what are their details in case I just want to go oh it's a callback assignment I'll just plug that into my phone and call them and any other relevant details you might want about the contact and here's a really nice button so if I happen to be on my desktop or my phone I can just be like great let's go directly into the contact record that's associated with the task and do something with it Cool, there it is. Now, to do that button, um, pretty straightforward. Um, again, sometimes a little bit overlooked. So with the URL structure of high level, they use Firebase, so it's an object-based database, it's a real-time database, and gives them indication on how they use IDs throughout the system in different, sec I suppose, different sections or modules of the system um, essentially become parameterized within the URLs, right? So, you know, here's my location. My location ID is this. If I'm running multiple locations, all my customer locations are gonna have their own unique ID, all accessible via a URL. Just knowing that, you know, is super helpful. If you never knew that before, cool. And then with contacts, the detail page, and then the contact ID, right? And so, to be able to build those buttons to take you directly to things, to trigger different things, right? Um, is extremely helpful. So, you know, how do we do that, right? So we go back to our email template and click on the one that I was talking about, which is the utility. And so you're probably familiar with custom variables, right? And then the ability to pull out a different uh, set of custom variables to do a bunch of different things is very useful. So the link URL for the button is gonna be that, 
right? And then I'm going to throw in the contact ID variable, right? Now, in this new HTML builder, they don't have that available. But if you know, I suppose, the syntax behind the custom variables, you can use them anywhere. As long as you've got the double curly braces, off you go. So that is how you can link actions with buttons back to do something functional. And I've seen this, you know, with um, confirming appointment statuses and those types of things. But I think it's nice if you were to build something like this with logo placeholders, when you're onboarding a customer, part of that onboarding experience might be, okay, let's replace you know, that with a, a, a URL to an image, which is their logo, like a universal logo, those types of things, their colors. And so essentially kind of aesthetically super pleasing. Um, it looks like systems like HubSpot and this type of stuff looks super professional, just adds a lot more kind of value behind, you know, this isn't just something that's been slapped together. It's super professional, super nice looking and super functional when different things are happening throughout the system. Any questions, please let me know. Uh, I am going to be posting more videos. If you can like and subscribe to this video, trying to build up a little bit of a following here, hoping that my content is valuable. Some people would appreciate it. Thank you so much. Till next time. Bye.